15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 40 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. Now we are throttling down that first stage in preparation for Max Q. Max Q stands for me. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the largest structure load that the vehicle sees. Now coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening within seconds of each other. That'll be main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second engine start one. Stage separation and SES-1, we've got a really cool view of the first stage and those nine Merlin 1D engines burning bright. Stage separation confirmed. And there you saw Miko in stage separation on your left hand screen is the first stage with the right hand screen being the second stage. And you can see SES-1, that MBAC engine is now glowing bright red there. Stage one, engine board startup. And there you can see on your left hand screen as that view lights up, those three engines are burning bright helping to slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we are attempting to land on Of Course I Still Love You for the sixth time for this booster. Got a live view from the drone ship on your left-hand side. Right-hand screen, stage two is still looking nominal. Stage two, FTS is saved. And it does look like we did not land our booster on. Of course, I still love you tonight. It is unfortunate that we did not recover this booster, but our second stage is still on a nominal trajectory. Uh, the second stage did start to spin along its central axis to give the Starlink satellites the momentum they need to space themselves out. Deploy confirmed. And what you're looking at on your screen are these Starlink satellites drifting away from second stage. This is confirming deployment of our payload. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array, and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the Range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. And thanks to all of our viewers and every one of you that has signed up or placed an order for service. Thanks for joining us and have a great night.